well my friends this is a very short video i am giving to show you a rubric in the king's repertory chapter mind dwellers dwellers i mean they are going to be for easy pronunciation dwells but the actual english pronunciation is dwellers dwellers on past disagreeable occurrences dwellers on past disagreeable occurrences there are some medicines important medicines are benzoic acid chamomile nectamur is in the first grade pratina sepia sulfur dwellers on past disagreeable occurrences now this is the patient of a gentle lady age about 37 years came from navadip nodia district already i have selected sodium chloride one to three times given this is the fourth time the medicine was based on cases called beridri headache constipation as dgr is less what disagree to milk aversion to bread and dgr for bath all symptomatology corresponding to me sodium chloride but the one of the important symptoms dwellers on past occurrences sodium chloride also during case taking or interpretation this this symptom was not told by the patient or however it has not mentioned here now today listen from her husband তুমি তোমার ওয়াইফের সম্বন্ধে কি একটা বলছিলে একটু আগে খুব পুরনো কথা নিয়ে খুব চিন্তা করে মা দাদা বাবা কে কি করেছে আর সেগুলো নিয়ে কষ্ট কে কি বলেছিল কে কি করেছিল সেসব নিয়ে ভাবে কান্না করে দুঃখ পায় এটা প্রায় করে প্রায় সব সময় করে একটু মানে মাঝে মধ্যে ওর এই ভাবনাই চলে আসে সব সময় কেন কেন আসে বুঝতে পারি না So this symptom is this rubric or symptom is very very important and sodium chloride is a very very important drug dwellers on past disagreeable occurrences and my medicine my selection was 100% correct once again it has been proved though this symptom was missed or not interpreted or not told by the patient at that time but this is the time when the symptom has given to me it has once again proved that sodium chloride is the correct medicine chosen by me and at the same time i have demonstrated you the rubric the meaning of rubric and where you will find out the rubric from the kent's repertory and the meaning of rubric is clearly understood by the statement or narration of her husband